Um, first again, uh, congratulations to Eastern Washington. Yeah, and an incredible run here late. They're playing their best basketball in March. Um, that was not a number six seed, I'll tell you that. They played extremely well today. We're fortunate to come away with a win. Um, first off, I'd like to thank uh, Mark Roundtree and Val Cleary for believing in, in uh, my vision for this team. Um, we started something special four years ago. And, uh, you know, it took some time. There were some ups and downs as we went along. But uh, just like to thank all of our fans and, and alumni and community support um, for being there for us all year. Uh, to see us, you know, through the years of, you know, seeing, watching these players grow as players and as, uh, you know, people and, and just seeing it unfold tonight. It's just something special. Um, this championship is for all of them as well as this championship is for these players. Uh, you know, four years ago, they, they believed in a, a system that wasn't in place. Uh, we didn't have a team. I think I had three players on campus when I arrived. They believed in an arena that wasn't built, and they went to work. And I, I go back to our, our team retreat this last fall, and we looked each other in the eye, and each one of us believed 100%, 100% that we would be in this moment cutting down the nets. We talked about it. Um, we went through some ups and downs throughout this year. Um, off to the best start in school history, uh, being mentioned as, uh, you know, with ESPN uh, mid-major poll number eight. Um, you know, I think that's something special for this program. And then we, we, you know, coaches look at wins a lot of times. I, I went back and throughout this year, it was, it was the three close losses that we had. It was those one possession, last second losses that we had. And we could, have, we could have gone two different ways. We could have felt sorry for ourselves and, and packed it in, but we didn't do that. We kept working. We kept believing in each other. I knew after that Montana State first half last Saturday, we were going to win this. We were a different team, and we locked it in. And give Eastern credit today. They played a great game, but I'm proud of all of our players and what they've done and shows their shows how special they are and their true character today to come out and be on top and to be Big Sky champs. So proud of them. Actually, Coach talks about the sense of belief, but then to actually make it happen, what's this feel like? Uh, it's crazy. I mean, it's been a long time coming, and we finally got the steps together to get here, so it's crazy. And how about Desiree's shot to put you guys ahead? Oh, about that? Just yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what to think. <laughs> didn't know if it was coming to me or if it was going up, but when I saw it going up, it was good, so. We had, we had three options on that play. Um, that wasn't an option. The fadeaway, <laughs> jumper, the fadeaway jumper was not up. You got to understand, Des, we do last second situations all the time in practice, and she hits more last second shots. So we were kind of saving it for the moment, and today she stepped up, and I, she wasn't a freshman today. She was a veteran player that stepped up and hit a big time shot that a lot of pro players can't make. So congratulations to the whole team. And, they, they stepped up. We had to step up in that last five minutes. We did. I don't know if you want to give away too much for the NCAA yeah, tournament, but yeah. what, were the, uh, what were the options? Um, so we had, yeah, <laughs> we had Des coming off. We used Ashley as a decoy on the screen because we knew we had played Eastern, used that set a lot of times. Use Ashley on the screen, so they overloaded on the screen, but we were still going to slip her out of that. And then we had our 6 4 cutting on the backside. Courtney was open on the backside as well. If the idea was if she did miss, Courtney was going to rebound, put it in with no time left. Des, what gave you the courage to shoot that shot? Uh, coach, he told, he put, let me, well, man, I can't talk. <laughs> he put the ball in my hands, told me what I needed to do, what to look for, and I just, he gave me the trust, so I just shot the ball. Seems like you're comfortable in big moments. Where's that come from? Um, playground. I mean, there's every, every little kid dreams of hitting a shot like that. And you just shoot it for fun, and then one day it becomes reality. Ashley, you, you, know, you guys had a tough matchup on Wednesday against one of the hottest shooting three-point teams in the country. You know, and don't know that there are a lot of people that would have given you guys a chance. You know, you're down by uh, seven today, and then five minutes ago. Just how much have you guys believed in yourself all year long? Um, you know, we've been down in these situations before, and we've actually come back and done the same thing. So it was just kind of us staying together and keeping our heads and playing together. Coach, what were you guys able to do in those last five minutes? I mean, you know, it didn't seem like there was this huge momentum shift. You had a brief lead and then kind of fell behind. What, what was well, important was, for you? It was an important thing that we did defensively. We extended out. So our, our press 
kind of put them back on their heels a little bit. And what it did was it took 10 to 12 seconds off the shot clock. They were doing a really good job of picking us apart. And it took a, took a little bit of time off the shot clock. So they were getting in their set about probably like 14, 15 seconds on the shot clock. So they had to speed up a little bit. I thought that really changed the game. Um, it was an adjustment we had, we were waiting for. Um, and then, as any game, we just started getting more uh, length on the outside. They were hitting threes, so we wanted to get more length on the outside, be quicker. If they did start to attack, they were moving Morrow around a lot, so she was going high post, short corner, back to corner. But we knew if we took her away, they'd probably be going to her in the last second situations. So trying to take her away, and then we had a rebound. We, we that first part of the fourth quarter, we, we allowed three, offense, three straight offensive rebounds. And that just gave them confidence, that gave them that seven point lead. Once we locked down and started rebounding, you can see our offensive flow. We held a couple sets all year. We had we had to run a couple sets all year and we used those in the last minute situations, able to get some easy shots. Coach, you mentioned you came in here four years ago, kind yep. of a, a bear cover. You know, what was it about Portland State that you looked at and you said, hey, I think you know we can be successful here? Well, at first it was the vision of the administration. I mean, they believed that uh, we had the resources, they believed in me and my vision of putting together a team um, and you know with the arena too it just it helps with recruiting as well so you're able to attract high level players both these players on stage here are high level players that can play at any level and to able to have them play at Portland State and um, be part of our philosophy and, and just change the culture we changed the culture early on so that was kind of the start of it and it was it was believing that we could do it and you can see you can see the progression um, we have some close losses this year I think you know we those change, we could probably win the league, but it didn't happen. And now what are we going to do about it? Well, we went out and won it anyways. And actually, along those same lines, I believe you came in for the second year. You know, what What did he do to sell you on the program so early on? Um, he didn't really have to sell me, honestly. I was looking to go in play for him at SOU, and he got this coaching job, so it kind of all just fell into place for me. Coach, there's <clears throat> so many talented seniors in this league this yep. year. What's it like to watch your group of seniors go out on top? It's special. I mean, I, I said a little bit ago, it probably won't hit me until May or June, you know, but in this moment, it's just a special thing. I was anxious. I, I probably slept like six hours the last two days, and not because you're nervous or anything for the game. I just, I wanted this so much for them because I knew how much work they put into it. And, you know, I think, I think just seeing them and what they've done the last three to four years, uh, you know, Pia came in, she started that first year. She was really my first recruit. Um, and she's, she's taken her role, it's tough. It's probably one of the toughest things to do is take a role. And she's done that, she's been so strong and, and she's gonna be you know, exceptional in whatever path she chooses after this, whether she plays pro or, or goes to grad school. Corey, with her injuries, um, you know, her back injury, she played through so much back pain last year, but she gave us so much. And this year she was almost like a coach on the bench, you know, and just helping us through that. And then Sydney, Courtney, and Ashley, just to see their growth as players, um, I, you, look, you look at our stats, I mean, it's, it's, it symbolizes what we are as a team. It just, everybody contributed, everybody gave everything they had. It was a team effort, uh, but there's three special players that finished up with the championship. Coach, you only played seven players today. I mean, yeah. I can follow you all year, so I don't know if that's important or not. But, you know, just, you know, not ha having that much depth, but still being able to, you know, kind of pull this off, you know, what's, yeah. what's that say about the players that are on the board and how much they put into yeah, usually we play eight or nine. Uh, Sav went down with a knee injury, you know, a few weeks ago, and she was she was probably our MVP of our team at the time. I mean, she was averaging like 16 points a game. Um, gave us an inside presence that we didn't get a lot of times with some, you know, she could go back to the basket, some athleticism. Uh, tonight I didn't, didn't use Pia just because of, she's more of a power game. Uh, they're athletic. They drive. You know, they're really good at the basket. But we're going to need her next week, type of thing. So. You know, tonight we had to shorten it up a little bit, but we, we really locked in defensively, you know, in the fourth, and so we used some of our, we went to four guards and tried to use our quickness in our press, and then really looked to rebound the ball and then and try to get to the basket on the other end. Coach Kennedy, can you talk about your tournament experience from the time you arrived in Boise to now? It's been, it's, I mean, yeah, it's been amazing. It's we won. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's, uh, we were, we were kind of hesitant because we, we wanted the buy, but then the back-to-back -back games, it was just so different, you know, just having the back-to-back -back games. But quicker scouts and quicker to get ready. The team bought in. They were ready for it. We, we loved the last day where you had that day in between the championship, but it was different last year. Boise has been unbelievable.
I think my wife wants to move here. You know, <laughs> tell my boss that. But it's uh, it's such a beautiful city. The people have been so welcoming. This is a first class operation the Big Sky Conference ran this week. I mean, it's been unbelievable. Um, and everybody, even working in the arena, has been coming up to us and congratulating us. And you know, just wanting to know more about our team and you know about each player. I can't say enough about you know how great Boise has been. Um, and to finish off with the championship just makes it that much sweeter. Doesn't actually answer the same question. Uh, yeah, I mean, coming from Reno to here, it's been great. You know, it's a different environment out here, and I mean, I like it out here. So, I mean, I'm not complaining anymore. So, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go to Reno last year with them, but I heard Reno was good. But I've, I've liked it out here too. As, the weather's been kind of nice. Well, nice. It's been a little cold and windy. <laughs> they go hotel, food, gym, hotel. You know, that, that's usually what it is. Um, Ashley, your team ranked for the top of the conference in most of the defensive categories, points, blocks, and all that type of stuff. Do you think that the tournament, playing defense, you know, having that style of play, gives you a better chance than other teams? Um, I know it's a unique style of play, and we've bought into it over the past few years. So it took us this long to really master it, but. I mean, I think you can come out and play whatever defense you're going to want to play. You just got to play it to your full potential. Time for one more. Anything else?